What's going on guys? My name is Ace Trainer Seraph bringing you my Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke, uh, randomized Nuzlocke, where we can only catch the first Pokemon we encounter on each route. Every Pokemon must be nicknamed to increase the bond, and, well, if a Pokemon dies, it is, you know, considered dead, and you can't use it anymore, and it has to go in a box. But, anyway, we also have enacted Species Clause, which means if I get a, uh, <clears throat> Poliwag, and I run into a Poliwrath, I don't have to catch it, or vice versa. As well, uh, Species Clause, and Dupes Clause. Dupes Clause is where if I run into, let's say, a Diglett on the first route, and the next route I run into a Diglett, I don't have to catch that second Diglett. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to start this up right now. Alright, let's do this. Info needed. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. I was just reading this book here. Oh, look at that. It's Professor Oak. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor, D uh, Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, as friends, at times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds. With, and develop closer bonds with I cannot talk today, I can't read today. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am definitely a boy. So you're a boy then? Yes, I have the dangly bits. Please tell me your name. Alright. S. My up button isn't working. Ah. Pause for a second. There we go. Oh. Damn it. Seraph is my name. Your name is Seraph, that's what I just said, Oak. Seraph, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experience, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. Dreams, ad dreams, adventures, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. This guy wants to be a psychic or something. Look at this. Alright. Hi, Seraph. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide-and-seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where he, the lab is, right? It's right next door. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry your things. Look at that. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your pro progress. These are also rather helpful. Alright, so we got a bag. We got an options button, a save button, and actually we are going to... Oh, I hit the wrong button. We are going to go to the options button. Real quick, we're going to fast tech speed. Uh, I'm going to change my frames up. I like the green frames. And confirm. Yeah. Um, I'm actually using my Pokémon controller. 
to play this. Uh, it's just a little bit easier than using my wired Xbox controller, which has the analog sticks, which I always forget don't I don't set up. Let's go talk to this man, Professor Elm. I don't even want to talk to that guy looking in the window. I don't care what he's doing. He ain't doing nothing wrong. He's just looking. Hi, sir. Hi, Sheriff. Uh, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could, you could choose from. Oh. Um, uh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. All right, so we're going to look at these Pokemon now, for this first episode, what I'm actually doing, or have done, is I posted about this on Pokemon Amino, and uh, I asked what my Pokemon should be uh, chosen, so we're going to go ahead and see what the Pokemon choices are, and then I will... Alright guys, so the choices for the Pokeball Pokemon are right, here. Sudowoodo, the rock type Pokemon. Shelgon, the dragon type Pokemon. And Nidoran, the poison type Pokemon. So these are the three Pokemon I can choose from. And now the way this is gonna work is I am going to upload this video tomorrow. Or this video has been uploaded by three. Will be have up. Will have been uploaded by three o'clock today, which is tomorrow because I'm recording this the night before. <laughs> but that's beside the point. So I'm gonna upload this video, and I'm also gonna put out a post on Pokemon Amino, in which you guys who well can follow me on Pokemon Amino, but can also vote to see what Pokemon we start with. Now I'm not gonna lie. These, these choices, I, I just, I am not in favor of any of them, really. Um, you know, I've never, I've never used a, well, I mean, I have used a Nidoran, but, uh, I've never really used a pseudo Wudo before, and I'm not that big a fan of Salamance, so, no matter what I, when I, no matter what wins, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good playthrough. Um, so, I'm actually gonna cut this episode off here. Uh, I know it's gonna be a, it's a small episode. Uh, you guys can always follow. You guys can find me on Pokemon Amino uh, by searching Serif Masters, and that's basically it. Um, I'd like to see everybody come out for that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I've been a little sick. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this here, and we're gonna end it off, and I'm gonna get on posting and making sure everything works out good and editing so that I can make sure that, well, everything is legit. Anyway, I'm Ace Trainer Seraph. You guys are viewers. Have a wonderful day. Keep watching. See you guys back on episode two when we find out which starter we get to choose. 
Have a good day, guys. Train on. What's going on, guys? Seraph here. If you made it this far and are listening to this right now, you just watched my entire video, and all I want to say is thank you. Uh, if you need, or if you want to, go ahead and check out any of these other videos around here. As well, you can search me on these social media sites by searching in Ace Trainer Seraph or AT under slash Seraph.